Hey, welcome to video two of how to create a really cool warp box, uh, like the one on eCover Software Pro. You see that here. So uh, this is video two. We're going to go and finish up the uh, the creation of this cool thing. Uh, first, you'll notice that we have this jagged line, so we're going to fix that. Click on new layer. Call it line, so that you know what, what it is. Transparency is checked and OK. Go back to your eCover layer, choose the eyedropper tool, and choose the color of the top box here. Just click on it so that our four color now turns into that. Go back to your line layer, click on paintbrush and select one of these circles and just test the width. And that's a little wide for us so you can go back, undo it, control Z and bring the width down a bit. And that's okay. Now, now, I'll make it even a little more narrow. Click on the f front uh, edge of the box, click and let go, then hold down shift and drag your line to the end of the box. Then click and then let go of shift. All right, and you can see we have a nice smooth line now. And really, it's just an effect. If you get rid of the E cover, we just created a line there. Turn that back on. And go to your E cover layer here, right click on it and duplicate layer and watch how the image gets sharper and some of the edges are already smoother. But select that copy layer here, go to your blur tool and holding down your left mouse button just start going over some of these edges. And I'll, you see that I have my rate of blur up at around the 70s, low 80s. So just do that until it's smoother. Do the same on the left edge, and do the same in this back edge here, but you don't need to do it that much. Um, you just keep some of that edge showing up. And now I'm going to add some sparkle effects. Now there's a video called How to Add a Sparkle, or Add a Sparkle Effect in GIMP. And that's in our video collection on YouTube. So find that, and you'll find that you'll learn how to create this special brush. What we're going to do is create a new layer, call it Sparkles, or Sparkle. Transparency on, OK. Make sure that's all the way at the top. If it's not, you can use your up and down arrows to move it around. Bring it to the top. Choose your four color as white and click on the paintbrush tool. For the brush, again, it's in another video, it's the sparkle brush right here. Make it pretty big, you can make it even bigger, and just click on this front corner. You can add a couple more. We'll make one a little smaller here and one on the front and make you know, maybe a little larger here right there okay and that's it for the warp cover you see it looks amazing um, it's really big so first of all go to uh, you know save your image and then you can make it smaller so if your website area is about um, 600 pixels in width you can make it you know 550 to make sure it fits scale image 550 scale. Okay, and I can go and view it at a hundred percent. Again, we were working with a, a, a window size of about 67 or so. This is the actual size image here, and uh, you can just go ahead and go to File, Save As and choose whatever format you want, JPEG, PNG, save it wherever you like and add it into your website. As always, email us at support at ecoversoftwarepro.com and thank you as always for watching. Bye.